So Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, or PTSD for short, is a mental disorder that can develop after a serious traumatic event such as a nasty car accident, um, a sexual assault or being in the military. And symptoms include um, unwanted thoughts and nightmares about what happened, avoiding thoughts and activities related to the trauma, feeling very jumpy on an edge and also changes in mood and the way that the individual thinks. So serious traumatic events are very common, so approximately 50% of women and 60% of men experience a serious traumatic event at some point in their lives. It's thought that individuals with serious mental health problems such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder are more likely to be exposed to trauma and also very much more likely to develop post-traumatic stress disorder as a result. So it's then surprising that clinical services often don't pick up on um, post-traumatic stress disorder in individuals with other primary diagnoses such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. And it could be the case that um, an overlap in symptoms between different conditions makes it difficult to pick up on the PTSD. Or also um, the fact that clinicians are careful about upsetting participants and not wanting to ask about it and also a reluctance on the part of the individual to talk about what happened to them because it is very traumatic. Um, so we looked at data from the National Centre for Mental Health to look at the rates of PTSD that goes undetected among individuals with serious mental health problems. So we used data from approximately 2,000 um, individuals and we looked at um, whether or not they had been exposed to trauma and then used a screening instrument to see whether or not they met diagnostic criteria for the condition. And we found that 40% of individuals in our sample had been exposed to traumatic events at some point in their lives. Um, this is in fact lower than the um, rates reported in the general population, but we were looking at a sample of participants from Wales and a lot of the data that exists already is actually taken from America, so there could be differences there. Um, we found that 22% of individuals in our sample um, screen positive for post-traumatic stress disorder. And when you look at equivalent studies in the general population, it's about 3% of the population that screens positive in the general population as a whole at any point in time. So the rates in our sample were much higher than that. We also found that 14% of participants had PTSD that hadn't been detected. So they, they screened positive for post-traumatic stress disorder, but they didn't report having a diagnosis. And we also looked further and found that women were more likely than men to have PTSD that was undetected. And also we found that individuals that were younger at the um, age of, that they first came into contact with psychiatric services were also more likely to have PTSD that was undetected. We also found that um, traumatic events such as sexual assault and childhood abuse, which often individuals are reluctant to talk about, were associated with higher rates of undetected PTSD. So this suggests that PTSD should be routinely screened for in clinical services um, on the basis that it's easy to screen for and um, there are effective treatments that can really help individuals that are suffering from PTSD alongside their primary diagnosis.